Buna Eurovoxes. So Romania have chosen their song for Eurovision and it is Goodbye by the Humans. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the song that Romania has chosen. It's already one of my favourites in this year's contest. I love it that much. I do think the song in places is a little bit simplistic and I feel like in places it needs like an injection of something to boost it up because that you know there's a lot of kind of high notes um, and kind of strong notes in the song which the, the female singer sings very well. But I feel in places, you know, it just needs to be boosted up a bit more, if that makes sense. Um, as for their performance at the national final, I feel like their performance didn't do the song justice. I feel like the song and, you know, the band are better than the performance they gave. Um, but I'm confident that they can bring it to the stage in Lisbon. So I have to say that when I first watched this, and the first time I'd heard the song was when I saw the national final performance, and she was kind of there in this like black, black cape, mm -hmm. and um, you had these guys with these weird masks on that were kind of <laughs> edging towards. I didn't know what they were going to do to her, um, but then also they removed the cloak, and that's when the song kind of kicked in for me. Um, took a little while listening to it for it to grow. However, I do really like it. She's actually got a really good voice, mm -hmm. and when she's hitting those high notes, you can hear the power. I mean, oh, she's yeah. got a. This girl's got a good pair of lungs. Um, the song for me, I like it. However, and I hope this doesn't come across in a bad way. For me, it sounds a bit dated, but dated in a good way. Okay. Okay, if that makes any sense at all. It kind of reminds me of like one of those, I don't know, maybe like late 80s when you had kind of bands like Heart. I love the song when it kind of went a bit rocky. Mm in the chorus um, and then there was these injections of like you've kind of got a, a bit bit of atmosphere with the the violinist the performance I'm not sure about I think you, they need to ditch the guys with the masks because that just yeah. freaked me out a little bit I, I have mean, to say yeah it was a little bit weird the whole staging of it yeah it just didn't fit with the song at all but I do like it dated yeah it doesn't sound like a Eurovision song to me. And I was trying to imagine it on, on stage in Lisbon. And I can't predict how this is going to go down. Either it's going to do really well mm. or it's going to sink. Um, I hope it does well. I hope it qualifies. Yeah, me too. But we will see. I, I, I can't call this one, actually. Yeah, it's a bit, you know, like when you kind of, you know, watch the national final performance, you're thinking, okay, this is quite a good song this girl can really sing but then you're not maybe immediately thinking Eurovision when you hear it mm. I guess but that might be a good thing might be I mean there's always time to you know make it a Eurovision song yeah but in, in terms of the quality of the performance it's good and I think mm. the singer I'm not sure what her name is but I think she is key to this song doing well because she, she has got a great voice and once kind of the cloak came off and she's in her red dress, mm -hmm. she had quite a good stage presence, Oh yeah, I think. And she was working that stage, so hopefully she'll be able to do the same in Lisbon. So Jess, are we saying thumbs up, thumbs down for Romania? Definitely thumbs up from me. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, actually. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe a dark horse, we'll, we'll see. Mm. But guys, as always, we want to know what you think. Don't forget to let us know in the comments down there. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to follow us on social media. But until next time, see ya. Bye.